Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay, sir. Uh, I recently noticed that more and more companies or more and more job offerings uh, like uh, requires uh, knowledge or uh, experiencing in accessibility. Um, I don't have much experience in it, um, but somehow I think um, it, it would stand you out in a, a job interview if you know uh, more about accessibility than the other candidates, right? Um, not to be honest, um, I, I'm not sure how we should balance the accessibility uh, with uh, with other tasks in our daily job. Like we have a lot of uh, priorities. So how can we how can we prioritize the accessibility uh, improvement? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not able able to answer those questions, but I hope to find the answer after this series. So I'm starting this new YouTube series, video series about accessibility. Um, I'm learning it. Uh, maybe you can, we can learn together. So the first material I'm going to talk with is this web dev. It's from Google. Uh, there's a nice web page about accessibility. Um, so I suggest if you, if you want just to read the text, you just read from web dev. Um, uh, I'm just uh, read through them in my video with some our uh, some of my own perspective on it. Uh, sounds cool. So okay, the first episode is about what is accessibility. Um, yeah, we can skip through the so generally I think uh, it's just for accessibility means to uh, make it more accessible to a, a small fraction of our users, uh, which has some disability. Uh, uh, of some some uh, to some dis degree, um, this it is nicely categorized into four categories. Wow, this is the first I heard about these categories. It makes the uh, uh, it is makes the um, the picture more clear, like uh, what we are we uh, targeting for. Um, in my in my in my experience, some teams are focusing on the accessibility, but uh, there is a problem about uh, um, how they uh, how they. Uh, target how they QA how they uh, uh, how they uh, measure their improvement. Uh, but anyway, it's some other topic. Uh, four tech categories. One, a vision. Uh, vision means um, maybe our users have some vision impairments, um, like uh, including like low vision uh, or complete blindness. Um, they would use some combination of screen magnification, uh -huh, high contrast themes, text to speech. Well, text to speech like uh, like Mac, uh, the browsers have the default support, and other uh, text to speech software, I guess. Some users might relay, rely on the screen reader. Yeah, screen reader, navigate the page, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is for vision. Another one is for motor uh, dexterity. Uh, this is, I, I don't know what that means. Motor and dexterity impairments affect users' ability to use a mouse. So they rely on keyboard, um, head or eye tracking software. Uh huh. Yeah, switching devices, switch devices, sip and poof device. What it is? I don't know. Sip and poof. Yeah, a voice access. Yeah, generally it's not other input than mouse, right? Uh, like Stephen Hawking's chair. Um, yeah, keyboard. Most most of the time, I think uh, uh, we would have focused on a keyboard. It's much affordable for uh, ordinary people. Um, yeah. Okay. So motor. Impairment. Another one is auditory. Auditory impairments range from difficulty hearing certain frequencies to see speech processing issue. Uh, oh, what kind of this for this look like? Uh, maybe for video. Uh, we, we often see some movies or uh, drama shows that uh, offers subtitles, right? Um, I think they were doing a very good job in not only including the uh, the serifs, but uh, but but also including this. The environment sound like there's a wind blowing, something like subtitle describing uh, what is going on. So auditory is also accessibility issues. Another one is cognitive. Cognitive impairment is broad category, uh, encompassing encompassing topics as ADHD, dyslexia, and autism. Yeah. So I realized this one is very interesting. Is because um, not for, not uh, long ago that Twitter or YouTube YouTube. Uh, they, they 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 change their design on the website to make it more how to say uh, black and white, right? They removed a lot of colors, uh, make it the icon so that simple without those colors, just uh, black. Um, I think that that's maybe 
uh, because of this uh, cognitive uh, accessibility issue, right? Yeah, make it make it focus more focusable with people. Um, yeah, one thing um, I also see that the CSS also um, uh, uh, the CSS offers uh, media query for uh, low low somehow animation lower uh, fewer animation options. So that's also a cognitive um, accessibility issue. So we should uh, for 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 uh, those users we need to minimize distractions, flashing, heavy animations, while well, something moving may, may distract them and causing troubles. Uh, it's the serious troubles that I would say. Awesome. So four categories. Uh, yeah, I need to remember right? remember them. One, yeah, while while you are. Uh, in a job interview, say, hey, what do you know, know about uh, accessibility? You could, you could confidently answer that. Okay, uh, there are four categories of um, accessibilities we can get cat. Uh, we can uh, try to improve on. Well, the first one is for uh, vision impairment. Then the other one is motor impairment. And the other one is auditory impairment, and cognitive impairment. Um, yeah, for vision, it's about UI design. We we must make it more. Uh, high contrast or easy to access. And for motor, most most time is about uh, keyboard access, and auditory uh, auditory uh, is about the subtitle subtitle or something. And uh, cognitive is yeah, make it more focusable without those distractions. Awesome. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it helps or not, but anyway, I'll continue. There's not so many. Uh, articles and I think they're not covering all the topics and uh, oh once I made a video about uh, the create focus trap on the model system um, I think uh, that also is part of the accessibility right with the uh, keyboard access how can we create a uh, accessible uh, model system uh, that's also very interesting uh, I'll add that one to our uh, video playlist anyway that's the first episode of accessibility a journey. Uh, hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.